We're still trying to make friends with our not friend. So let's go on a hunt with her. Which is a martial based activity, which we have a bunch of. We're good at that. A great soldier. But she doesn't want to because she has other things on her mind, you know. With all this war business over there. It's quite a shame. So let's see. Let's see what is going on. In Ireland. My nephew. Okay. She seems to be losing quite a bit. The thing that I just clicked away was just some information about some faith being reformed somewhere or something. These never really have any large impact unless it's your own religion that is affected, but it very rarely ever is. So reaching the age of 60, which is very old. The time is growing near where we might die quite soon. She's not even of my dynasty. God, what did I do? Is not is this not matrilineal? No, it's not. Let's try and kill this guy so we can remarry her and have matrilineal children. Oh, she's immediately joining. Yep, I would like to have my husband dead. Send some gifts out so more people join, increasing our plot power. Right, so where is he? He's a commander down here somewhere. In where? Dinfwal. Which is what? This? No idea. Oh well. It'll work or it won't. We'll see. But as I said, it's fine. Oh, succession. Would we'll totally go out. Alright. Again, a lunatic thing. You're hosting a dinner for some local dignitaries when the full moon comes into view of the windows. Trembling, you excuse yourself and hurry up the stairs to your bed chamber while stripping off your clothes. You're completely naked when the guards find you crouched on your balcony, howling at the moon. Ah. Uh. Really needs to take care of this husband here. Let's have him at our court, so it's a bit easier to kill him. Right, my friend. So who's willing to kill him? Everyone, even Glitterhoof is in. We are getting everyone on board. Ugh, menu. Menu doesn't want to go away. Everyone gets a gift. Everyone who tries to kill this guy gets a gift. Come on up, people. Let's be friends about this. Everyone gets a gift. Everyone gets a car. How about that? Really need to have this guy gone. More gifts. Now we put our spy master on it as well. Oh, now she agrees. Coming along on a hunt. Let's increase our plot power here. She's losing really hard. Oh no, she's winning again. Interesting. Hours pass with little to no excitement when suddenly we come across a boar we were looking for. My soldiers look at me waiting for my orders to wait. Um, we attack it right away. It's just a boar. Whatever could go wrong. Probably everything.
The plot is revealed, who cares? Though the boar fought valiantly, we finally bring the beast down. The loud cheers from all our retainers. It has been a good time. We all fought as best we could. So how is this war going in her favor? Hmm. Everything she has is besieged. Nice. She likes us all the better now. Child needs to focus. There you go. Have it. Did die well on the battlefield. It really did. Right, okay. Um... He's not very fond of being in prison. Well, let's see if he has scrounged up the money now. So he can pay his way out. I feel that's only fair. Let's hold the summer fair. People are going to be happy about that. Let's search for another smith. We need a deadly weapon this time. And... The jester... And the summer fair, we think is really rather funny. Having invested myself in this literary endeavor, I have been feeling drained lately. When my scribes ask me what the next section of the book should be about, I throw my hands on in the air. How should I know? You cannot rush these things, I need inspiration. So we might go indulge a little bit in the festivities with soldiers, which has a high chance of us um, becoming wounded, maimed, severely injured, or no effect. But it might raise the quality of our work. There's a 1% chance of dying if we go try some mind-altering potions, which we're not going to do. We're going to go with our soldiers, and we have been wounded in that endeavor. Which is fine, wounds, you know, they, they go away after a while. An errant monk is distributing the summer fair by uh, disturbing the summer fair by preaching about sins and the end of the world. His drivel is frightening some, but most of the crowd around him is mocking and laughing at him. So, um, let's kick him out. It doesn't belong there. How dare he? How dare he, I say. Let's spend our prestige. Let's end a few plots here, which are trying to kill me, probably. It was great fun while it lasted. Okay, our, our vassal here, he's apparently plotting against me. Um... Katha Nick McLean, which isn't me. Who is Katha Mick? Who is that? I don't know, but we can imprison him, which we have only a forty-five percent chance of success. So he's probably going to fight this, raising his pay. Oh, not really a chance, right? I'm so sorry. Let's revoke his title if we can. No, we cannot, but we can banish him. Everyone is going to be unhappy with this, though our council improves. We could ransom him for 70 gold. Don't really need it. So let's throw them in the oubliette, which is the worst part, so he might die there quickly. And thus his plot has been Thwarted. Let's see who we can have commanding my armies. His son. Yes, yeah, send in someone good. 
And let's improve some relationships here. Mainly with the bishops. Alright, okay. Once the weapon smith is... Craftsmanship has been checked. All of this is kind of fine. So we can change what we want. Axes, maces, lances, swords. And they give various things. So light infantry, heavy foot and martial. Pikemen mounted and martial. Heavy infantry, light foot and martial. And... I think, let's go for an axe. Pretty deadly weapon. Let's have something of high quality, of course, because we can afford it. Really, really can. Actually, what... Something we might do, or rather not, because... We can't build a hospital as a tribe. Hospitals are a good idea. All right, we are losing our trade of wounded, but we are now scarred, which isn't the worst thing. It gives us some prestige and everyone who isn't scarred likes us more for it because it looks gnarly and cool. Has always been true. <laughs> you know what we could do? To try to get to melee, air. we could go and uh, take a concubine. First concubine is going to be Glitterhoof because she's strong. Second concubine, we're going to have to produce one. Um, for this, we can go here and we're going to present a debutante who is a lady, a young lady, introduced to our court now. She's not great, I tell you, but she will be fine enough for warming our bed. And now that we already have a dog from hunting, we can switch over to family, which increases our diplomacy, gives us more fertility, and generally is something good. We can have more concubines, so let's present another deputant, who's also not really special, but that's fine. We just want... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bishop Indonat see, beams a smile at you, at me, while handing over a pouch of gold. He claims it contains a saving accumulated from hard work and donations from the richer families in your realm. So we gain 300 gold. And the realm prospers. So we might actually get closer to starting on a, on a great thing, which is... than I expected. Right, we have an axe now in our treasury. Let's see how good it is. Oh, now the bishop comes and tells us. He has done a wow, 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 wow. He's, our son is amazing. Bishop, he reminds me of all the good work he has done and thinks that with a fair compensation of his own. Uh, so... He might gain a... County, which I don't really feel like he should. I mean, gold and we don't need that gold. We don't need just. Let's have. Let's owe him a favor now. Something to note about these: you can only have one weapon, one armor. These are not great quality, by the way, but that's okay. All right, he can become a commander. Oh, sure, I don't care. Everything prospers. Things are really looking good. We're still trying to sway her. I believe she has won her war. She is absolutely amazing. She's now fighting a revolt. But apart from that, she's a great woman.
And we can fight against her dislike of us, slowly but surely. She shall like us. She shall like us eventually. She shall... Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But how about Glitter who does something? Maybe produces an heir. She's attractive, strong, and a horse, of course. She's an imbecile, which is a shame. But she's my lover. <laughs> oh, my concubine. Ay, 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 ay. So this guy's still alive, which I don't find good. Well, a grandson, but of the wrong dynasty. Ah, we're not even going to bother. Let's check in our succession. Oh, these are not of our dynasty. Okay, desperate times call for desperate measures. We need to get rid of her. Both of them, actually, because her children are also not from this dynasty. All right. We could change the succession law. By bribing everyone to like us and go in tanistry. What does elective gavel kind do? Okay, title is still. Uh, we need to kill her. We need to kill our daughters. Now. There's not much we can do about that. We could imprison them, but everyone is going to hate us for it. Because we are a tyrant then. But honestly, we're nearing our the end of our life, so honestly, we're going to imprison them both and kill them both. Well, we can't. Because she's not in our court. Oh boy, what a pickle I've gotten myself into. But we could kill all... Well, let's do... Just, honestly, let's just do this. We're going to kill all the children and the husband. Let's start with the husband. Let's kill him. We're going to execute him. Everyone is going to hate us. This is going to be really, really bad. So let's have a matrilineal marriage. We need someone who's young and strong and still virile enough to give her a child. He's attractive. He's charismatic. And he's Irish. Let's have him. All right. Now let's go and imprison our children here, our grandkids. She has fled. Which is bad. Let's imprison him. Who is now in my dungeon and we're going to kill him. Okay, this is all really, really bad what we're doing here. Oh, God. So she hates us, understandably. Uh, we're kind of ruining our legacy here. If we check our vassals... This is not ideal. Not ideal at all. But it's okay. No one needs to like us anymore. We are, we are securing our lineage, is what we're doing. So there's a huge amount of plot power as it is. Because she's a child and no one really cares for children. And they will do anything. So the world might hate me for what I do. Even my own court. Even Glitter Hoof. <laughs> Even Glitter Hoof. But we're doing what is best for the realm. I am sorry to say. But it is best for the realm. And she has died. So let's check our line of succession. Is everything back in order? Yes, everything is back in order. Actually, my grandson. And he's not the worst.
So she has a charm still. Can I get an alliance out of her? No. She still has a chance to redeem herself. Give us a new heir. But we had to secure the bloodline. Even if that meant turning on our own people. He will not be remembered fondly. As a lunatic old age turned into a tribal kinslayer. Sure. I'm totally going to follow you in your war thing. And guess who we're gonna send? Well, no one, because absolutely no one wants to give us any troops. At all. Let's see what else we can do which people might not like all that much. Do they have to approve this? Yeah, they do have to approve it. Do they have to approve this? Yes, but everyone wants to have this. We don't want to have it yet. Ah, let's do it. Who cares? We'll need it eventually. Let's do as much as we can in this lifetime. Including maybe starting building off a great work. Not too far off anymore, money-wise. Might get a ruler statue, which would be... No, a statue of a horse, I'm sorry, but we need to get a statue of a horse. This is the only right thing to do. And quite honestly, quite honestly, we're going to make sure that we... I mean, he's, he's insane. He is insane as it is, so no one is going to be weirded out that he is going to borrow money to build a statue of a horse. Of his horse, Glitterhoof. So this is what we shall do. We shall build this, and it will take 16 years. So we will not see it be finished. Definitely not. But future generations will remember Glitterhoof. They will not remember me. Well, they might. But they're most definitely going to remember Glitterhoof. <laughs> Alright. That's a legacy I'm proud of. It's a good legacy. Very good legacy. And my concubine is also pregnant, so who knows what's going to happen.